So what's up, YouTube? Menace Effects Productions. Um, I'm going to try and do a quick tutorial as fast as I can make it. I've been getting a lot of questions about Edison. So I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to open up Edison, locate it, use it, show you a few neat things in it. Hopefully it doesn't run too long, but at least you'll be able to get the gist of this and be able to do it. So that way um, I don't have to keep answering the same question. But um, So now if you're going to use Edison to do your sample or whatever, Usually what I do, there's a couple different ways you can open it, and I'm going to show you both right now. Usually what I do is I take my mixer, and I click on the master channel, because I'm just, I'm not loading any effects, and then I open from here, I hit select, go up to Edison, and there goes Edison. Now, if you don't see your mixer on the screen, all you have to do is go to view, you have your playlist, step sequencer, piano roll, browser, click on your mixer. There it goes. And so right here, I've loaded it up in, into the, the master channel for everything, which it's not gonna, it's not gonna change anything because it's, it's not an effect. It's not gonna affect anything that, any of the instruments or anything like that. Another way you can open up, open up Edison, all the way up here in the top right, these scissors right here, click, there goes Edison. So that's how you find it in FL Studio. Um, real quick, I'm gonna load up a load of song up in here. Hmm. Oh, no. See if I still have this in here. I'm not sure. Okay. So I've loaded up a song in Edison. Click on, click on the wave file or whatever. Now zooming in. Okay. So pretty simple. If you want to make a cut, all you have to do, you can highlight your wave or wherever you want to start. Section it off. Alt M. And then you can name it. So I have that at cut one. You can see that's pretty fast. Now something neat that you can do in here, instead of having to um, mess with it after, you can play with it in Edison. And this is selected right here. So I'm going to go right here to this tool right here. Oh, no. I'm going to go to edit. I don't even know what I'm doing. Should be tool. Now time stretch and pitch shift. I can go ahead and mess with this. Um, drag it down the pitch, maybe about three semitones. Time stretch. Just drill a little on there and just see what that does. So it should make it a little slower. Let's see how it sounds. So as you can tell, it's a lot slower than it was before. And you can always click on this arrow here, drag it up there, right click on the wave file, click on detect tempo, 50 to 100. It shows at 50.995, that's probably wrong, so we're going to check 75 to 150, 101.991. So 101, 100, that's about the tempo of that right there. And you you know you can adjust everything in here, but you know pretty quick. There's a lot of things you can do in here if you mess around with different features. Anything you highlight, it'll show exactly what it is in this top left corner, right underneath File, Edit, and Channels. Anything you highlight will show up and tell you what it is. You can play with stuff, kind of figure things out. But that's basically how to locate and use Edison. <laughs> 